What's up guys? So today I'm gonna be cutting down my element rail and I know it's a bad idea. Like I realize it's probably going to be worse after I cut it down, but I'm gonna do it anyway. This headband looks like it's from Fallen, but it's not. It's from the grocery store. So here we've got the element square rail and I'm thinking about cutting it like halfway down making a little curb out of it, making like a little low curb type thing. So the thing is, this thing's already really wide. It, it kind of feels like a ledge more so than a rail. It's not like a thin rail that you're gonna do Smiths and Feebles on, like the round rail that I have. It's more of something that's really stable. You're gonna do 50-50s and nose grinds and 5-0s and stuff like that on. So if you cut the top of the rail down, you'll also need to cut the base because with this, This part of the rail actually slides in to this, so you have to cut them down the same amount so they'll actually be able to slide in each other. And yeah, I'm going to try to make a little curb out of this. So it's really important when you're cutting through metal with a grinder that you have something to protect your ears and your eyes. It would be better if I had something to protect like the side of my eyes here, uh, but this is all I can find right now. So the cool thing about this is I actually have two sets of these because I have the round rail and the square. So I cut down the ones for the round rail and I left ones for the square rail longer. So I can still make this taller if I want to, but I can also make it really short, just like a curb. So here's the piece I cut off and here's the grinder I used. I didn't want to actually show the process because it was really loud and there's like flames and everything everywhere. You know, all the sparks. Didn't want to destroy the camera. So I'm going to really coat this thing with wax because it's really thick. So there's going to be a lot of surface area to grind against the truck. So, you know, it might be kind of sticky. So you'll notice that I'm already really sweaty. And that's because when I shortened the round rail, I actually glued the legs in place so that they wouldn't move around and I could transport them without having to take them on and off. So I've spent the last 10 minutes trying to hammer them off because they were, they were really stuck on there. They were really glued on uh, so that I could switch them back and forth. I'm probably not going to glue them or tape them or anything. I'm just going to kind of sit the rail in there and hope they uh, work well because that was actually really hard to get. Um, it apart. So I would build a mini ramp back here and make videos doing stuff like that but as you can see uh, my neighbor's yard is a jungle and uh, she's actually a plant like agriculture professor at the college here so because of that this place is just a haven for mosquitoes and all types of bugs so just walking through the backyard, you're gonna get bit by mosquitoes. Also, I can't really skate this road that much because there's always people out here studying and stuff like that. So I feel kind of rude skating out here because it's so loud. So I realized that this might seem pretty wasteful to cut down a perfectly good rail. But the thing is, no matter how this goes, I'm gonna be using this thing every day anyway. So I am gonna get a lot of use out of it. And I think skating it more like a curb is gonna be more fun for me. I think I'm gonna be able to be more creative and do more tricks on it that way. So last night there was this horrible dripping noise and every time it rains, I have that same problem. It's like all night, you can't sleep, it's extremely loud. And so last night I went out in my boxers and sandals and ventured into my neighbor's backyard, that jungle that you guys just saw. And actually found what it was. There's this red solar cup, the kind that people play, play a beer pong with, just in the middle of the yard, right under this dripping water. And it was upside down, it was hitting the bottom of it, it was making this really loud dripping noise. So I threw the cup away and solved that problem. Oh, and it's solo cups, not solar cups. I, I realize I said that now. Another thing, I really need to keep a broom with me because it's kind of hard to pick up all the sticks 
and pebbles and stuff like that in every skate spot. I had one in my car, but I must have taken it out. So one thing that affects this rail more than the height of it is how much it kind of moves around. If you come at an angle and do a nose slide, it's going to slide maybe a few inches in one direction. So what you have to do is kind of come straight at it and ollie into stuff so that it doesn't move. But I feel like if I lowered it even more, that maybe that would help. Kind of like how Mini Coopers don't flip. Maybe if I lower it just a little bit more, it won't slide as much. It's just a thought, but I think the sliding is way worse than like the height of it. The height of it really wasn't making a big difference. So the round rail was much more successful than the square rail. When I cut the round rail down, it made it skate better. It made it easier to do feebles and smiths and stuff like that. But when I cut down the square rail, it actually made it more awkward and it made it harder to do tricks. The reason I was okay with cutting down the square rail is because I'm planning on taking that, cutting it totally down, and using it on the side of a box. So the main problem the rail has is it slides around a lot and it's just awkward because it's so short and it's got those the legs that stick out so you have to miss those. It makes it a lot more awkward than just a box without those legs that are protruding out. So when I put it up against the wall and it didn't slide, it was a little bit easier to skate, but flat bars are just so awkward. I think a lot of it is those little legs that stick out. You can't get really close to them. So you have to kind of do your tricks kind of far away and hope they don't slide around. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, reviews, tutorials, and videos about what I'm learning as I grow as a skateboarder, hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching.